Alright, I should be alive and good to go. Find uh, Rainbow Summit's name over there, right? Yeah. Gotta make sure I'm not doing the wrong one. Alright, back at Rainbow Summit, we've got about two years in game to try and get 300 more guests and keep them. So we're doing pretty dang well to begin with right now. So that's a good sign. Yeah, I'm happy with we're making profit. People are coming in the park. They're interested in what we have to sell. Um, yeah. Happy with the park so far. The big gimmick of this park is you can't really build anything high at all. You can't go above tree level for any part of this park with anything. And that's absolutely ridiculous. But it kind of is what it is. Can't do much about it because that's the rules of the game. Uh, we don't have too many things. I can't believe we have an elevator. Why can we... Why is it possible to build an elevator in a one where you're not even allowed to use an elevator? I really don't get that. Uh, our park, so far, I can show it off. I've got time in this park to make some money. I only need about 300 more guests so far. We got this big entrance area with a bunch of flat rides that are doing all right. Um, Probably could have more optimally placed everything, but it is what it is. Stupid but works is broken down. It's not forgotten to be open. Uh, got the train over here. This wooden roller coaster uh, was already included before I started building this or anything. We need to make sure our park guests stay happy. They're very happy right now, so as long as we keep doing what we're doing, I'm feeling good about that. We got this chairlift. I'm gonna rotate like this. This is the angle. I feel most indicative of everything here. Made this looping coaster, which is both better and worse than I thought it would be. But I kinda like it. It's a very simple design. It launches itself up and then it casually goes down, does some fun little helix circles, and goes all around. Got a boat hire where everyone gets lost, just like good old times. Uh, these space rings here elevated because that's where stuff is starting to be. You have to start elevating everything. Another thing broken down. I should check on my staff. You can hire a new mechanic. They're all currently doing stuff right now. I'll hire one security guard for no reason. And uh, one more entertainer. I got money to spend. I The loans, taking loans in this park is not too bad. Uh... Trying to fit stuff into the height limit is really the only issue with this park. Trying to fit everything in. I'm at 300 guests left to go. I just need to know. Because I'm very much considering putting an elevator in that does absolutely nothing. Yep, so that's as high or as low as the elevator can go. Uh, it is unusable right now. And that's the only mode it can be in. So, yeah. The elevator is completely pointless. Which is not a surprise, that's what we thought it was. Uh... I can always add more stalls in if I see a good place to put a funnel cake stall or anything. Yeah, goal is just going to be kind of relax the way out on this. I should be able to beat this mission. I was worried about it to begin with, but we're on such a good pace right now that I just want to be not super dangerous with everything. I think that's the main goal. I could do a flume type ride. It's hard to fit roller coasters, and some of them of those are quite roller coaster esque but it might not be a bad idea but for now so many gentle rides I'm happy we finally got those researches in now let's do
doing another uh, spiral slide, slide uh, right next to our current spiral slide. That goes there, that goes there, and it can be opened. Nice and simple. Is there any other small ride I can build? You can't build Ferris wheels or haunted houses at all in this park, so I don't even get why they're options. Why can you research them if you're literally not allowed to build them? Maybe there's some mechanic where you would be able to. I wasn't able to see it. Same with elevator, but the elevator one is at least funny to me. I love this observation tower. And so many roller coasters. I had a concept for um uh, air powered vertical coaster. And I think it will work. Beautiful. Let's test this out. Kind of love that. Do some actual testing. Built it right on the water. I think it has to go up. Yeah, it does have to go up a level. And I think I'm just going to do this for a bit. Give it a line. This one, we can just go up, across, and it's connected. Can we look at the stats? I want to see the stats before I open this. That's not that bad. Just goes in a nice little circle, goes very quick. It's pretty good, honestly. And I like it being right next to uh, the circle. gives a little variety in your square rides because this one's actually not a bad ride I don't think well it's at least not as bad as square but everyone still loves square and by square I mean circle because I renamed it in this one I gotta get my mouth straight on that it's had a lemonade stall Okay, I got the whole water area here I can play around with and build stuff off of. I am going down in guess very slightly, I think, because I haven't been really building stuff in my return to uh, this park right now. <laughs> There's really two bathrooms right next to each other there. That's no, something I definitely didn't need to do. Uh, let's try this. Kind of like the one I did it before. Just chop it off. Then it just spins around in a circle, and that's funny to me. See how all beautiful zeros. I don't remember, I can't mark it in this part, so even though I am close, it's something I still am gonna have to work on because there isn't much I can do. Yeah, those stats are really not that bad. ATM right next to the end, in case the only reason someone's leaving is they lost money. 
Ooh, that was a good group of people coming in. Helping the funds. Uh, let's do another handyman. It's good to see some of the rides here starting. I build some flat land up here in my debatable attempts to do some fun rides, fun roller coasters. But maybe that's all I need to do. Let's not do a twist. I can fit twists in easier. But like a magic carpet, I can't fit those in at all. How about um, a top spin? See, you can do a top spin. And let's hope I can build the pass off these. I'm honestly not convinced I can. Okay, I can. I think it's one, two, three. Cool, I think that, yeah. Path connected there. It's raining. I think I make all my money through umbrellas. I'm pretty sure I set that up. It would be kind of weird if I didn't, considering that's kind of my thing. There's an information kiosk. Didn't need Handyman 11 still there. I don't mind having a Handyman on hand necessarily to spot clean where I see but that's not what I'm doing right now. Once again, for no reason, we're going to make that red. And I think I'm going to do like this. Oh, okay, that one's not going to work. Felt like that could have been a disaster right there, but it worked. And then actually, on a similar line, I think I can do a normal Viking ship. No. There must be some way to do it, because it says pirate ship too. I've constructed a pirate ship before. I don't know what the requirements are then. This would allow me to do it and I just, I don't get it. I'm not going to worry about it though. I'm just going to open the top spin and continue to move on. Uh, this wooden roller coaster doesn't, oh it's stopped by block breaks, that makes sense. I thought it was just stuck there when the ride was operating normal and that was going to scare me. Yeah, we made a good bit of money through uh, price gouging the umbrellas, so we're in a good spot. I haven't added a cotton candy stall yet. There we go. If people want cotton candy, they can get cotton candy. We're doing good finance-wise. That was a big worry I had going to this park because building roller coasters is a difficult process, but it's going well. I can just place down hat stalls if I want. I'm always considering trying to fix this boat higher, but honestly, What's the point? It's kind of fun how it is. Park's just a bit of a chaotic mess. Alright, let's try and do a log flume. I think doing it on the water makes sense to me. The big problem is always passing, yeah, path and pathing, but get 
as as high as it's gonna go. I just developed something I don't think I mentally noted what it was. Uh, oh, toboggan cars. I don't care about cars for roller coasters. I'm still going to keep my research high. And I guess I'm going to keep it on roller coasters because I don't really care about the others. I got any transport car ride I really would want right now. Okay, that process is not worth it. So knowing that the tree height still matters when there's part of it underwater, but all right. I probably shouldn't be taking up as much space as I am with this, but whatever. Whatever. In fact, only two stations, because I think, yeah, log flumes work on different rules than every other ride. people to break in there and also just go get their hot dogs. Cool. Deleting that train at the beginning of the park, probably the smartest thing I did throughout the whole construction of this. Uh, I should have been having this in test mode throughout the process, but whatever. Oh, the merry-go-round broke. Well, one of them. We got more flat area here. Uh, I think I'm going to do this just because I like it in concept, which is build a parallel path here. The game's yelling at me for probably wanting to get more mechanics, and this is going to continue to spread people out in the park more. Let's get more mechanics. We look at the staff, we've got six. They're all doing stuff. How many stuff do I have right now? That's not the button to tell that. Uh, actually, that's not the button for it either. I think this is the button. If I go to... Yeah. I got 81 rides and attractions. I can have more mechanics than I currently had. Alright. Still waiting for log flume results because pretty slow ride. It's probably not that fun, but whatever. Alright, now that I have that process there. Yeah, yeah, I don't get why I can do this here. But I wasn't able to do it in another place. But here is going to be another Viking ship. I say Viking ship, but it's a pirate ship. But is there really any difference? Weren't Vikings basically pirates? It's the facts that people don't want you to know. We're going to test that pirate ship. Actually, no, we're just going to open it. It's fine. It's probably fine. The log flume, pretty bad. Not going to lie. It's opened anyways, but it's pretty bad. But hopefully this process is going to help start spread people out in this park more. Um, 
other thrill rides. I don't think I can do an Enterprise. Yeah, I believe that goes too high. I could do like another go karts, but I want to get more of the flat rides that I can't re-angle to my position at all here. Magic Carpet doesn't appear to be one that works here, but work didn't work elsewhere. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if there's many more of these flat rides that I care about. Can I do a Ferris wheel? I'm asking because it allowed me to do the Viking ship, but it doesn't allow me to do a Ferris wheel. This is the world we live in. Where it's like, you know what? Yeah, you can have a circus. That's fine. But a Ferris wheel? That's not allowed. That will destroy our scenery. And open up the circus too. That's me being a circus for thinking I could place <laughs> um, anything anywhere. Weird this is allowed. I don't know why. Because that's not even at... What is it over right now? Oh, it's over the space rings. That's what's making it not on ground. Okay. I had my math wrong on that location. I think I haven't built a mini helicopters yet. I think they're pretty bad, but you know what? I can build one. I won't feel bad about building one mini, mini helicopter. Cause it can do, yeah, I can do complete mini, mini turns. Uh, I can't go there for reasons of spacing everything in. We probably passed for that log flume if I changed how much there was in it, but I'm not going to. Ah. Uh, got a bit quick zoom out to the whole part, but that's not what the goal is right now. I do have a lot of room to do whatever I want. Let's go right here. And then there's nothing special you can do with mini helicopters. That's too high for support. That doesn't work, so we're going to do a mini turn. Straight down. Oh, that doesn't work as well, so we'll just no straight before the down, 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 flat, turn, turn. Uh, hopefully that doesn't crash, it might. And that connects us up. It looks like it's going slow enough. It's like on a directed path rather than a specific... It's on a directed path and speed rather than allowing to have free range motion like a roller coaster would. I should really do another roller coaster soon. Maybe one that's less of a joke coaster. I'm at the number of guests that I need. I'm at 2,616. So I'm in a good spot. I gotta be happy about that. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, I can. I like how that looks. Alright, we'll keep these mini helicopters on test. 
and see how they do. In the meantime, let's add one more quick little ride to this section. Many choices. I think I'm going to do a twist. Have the exits right next to each other so I can just go like that and we have our exit. And I'm going to do this like this for no real reason. And that is our twist. Bring this up here. Give it a test run. You know what? I'm going to give it a new coat of paint. And then just open it. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Mini helicopters. It's terrible as expected, but maybe not as bad as I was thinking it might be. There's a little duck here. I'm trying to get it to... Yeah, it quacked for me. I don't know if you can hear it, but it did quack. It's nice that you can get quacks in this game. Okay. The Viking ship can just be placed a lot more than I'm thinking it can. Weird it couldn't go in that one place up on top of the hill. But, whatever. I'm not going to do that there. I'm, I'm making a lot of money right now. Uh, I'm going to turn on speed a little faster. And hire some more staff. Get rid of all those windows. Just because money is not an issue, guests are not an issue, and happiness is not an issue, so getting quicker to the end is probably the goal. I'm also going to quickly save the game. Alright. Just want to do that uh, in case everything starts to go wrong, because this is a good point, and this is supposed to be a very hard mission. Let's look into a roller coaster. I am going to start a vertical drop coaster under the assumption that I can do stuff with it, but I'm not confident I can. Uh, I'm going to do a quick entrance and exit, and we are going to settings. Okay, it does not have a launch mode. That's what I'm looking for right now. want to ride with a good launch mode. It's fun to see everyone walking at a faster speed than I normally see it. I don't know how many of these have a launch mode. Uh, does a hyper coaster have a launch mode? settings it does um, we're gonna do powered launch without passing station and then get back into construction does that run into the pass no okay People are complaining about the state of paths in the park, whatever. It's kind of annoying to me, doesn't look, yeah. There's no avenue or route for um, helping this pathway. Yeah, helping I do not know what I was just saying. I lost my train of stop, thought. Ugh. I also cannot speak, apparently. Let's immediately... This is too fast for what I'm thinking of. I'm probably going to take... 
uh, some time to uh, fix a couple of the supports where I think it could be helpful. I got money to spend. doesn't work but let's do that and now it does that doesn't work for height reasons now I'm guessing it doesn't no still doesn't work for height reasons okay that works Let's not do a helix down there. We'll just do a normal turn like that. Into a photo section. That doesn't work. Uh, that also doesn't work. <laughs> Messing everything up here. fixing that because I don't like it. I think where is the land for this? Okay, there we go. Bit weird. up small uh, what if we actually don't do a helix up small we just do a small turn like that and then just have this be a little dangly for a while to that there we go It's not the most exciting of coasters. In fact, it's probably going to have bad stats, but I kind of like the design of it. It's a very simple hyper coaster. And doing these launch coasters like this still makes me feel good about having actual custom designed roller coasters in this park that can do some fun stuff. Yeah, this is a uh, one that I think is more for fun than for actual good design. If it has good stats, I'll be pleasantly surprised. Uh, that pathway with the road did not work. exit now yeah stats aren't great but honestly they could be worse oh, and I can just do that for the exit path so that's nice I'm getting research for stuff that's not rides I don't care about scenery personally so let's just keep it going I have enough money to spend it hyper coaster is made And people can ride it. Alright, let's keep getting that guest count up because any extra guests we can get is going to make me feel a lot safer about the whole process. I like keeping developing on the water though. That's something I feel good about. So let's do... Quick twist. Twist on the water. Nice little scenic twist. Uh, 
Uh, that route won't work for what I was hoping for. It's raining again, so we're about to get even more money. That twist can open. Nice little twist on the water. I don't know if I've done a limb launch coaster yet. I think I did. But I like the concept of doing another one anyways. aren't going to work like that. What if I do it like this? That's too high. What if I do it like that? That works. This is not at all, not at all how I think I normally design coasters like this. Shovel out to help. Can I do this? I probably can't. I can do that. Uh, let's do a slanted down, actually. There we go. It's nice to terraform under the water because I feel less bad about doing it. Like, it fits my plans better. in the way there, so I would have to go up another, and that's where we get some height issues again. Uh, let's rotate to try and get like that. That. Don't know how I'm going to end this. I think it's going to be like that. Uh, if I do downward slant, curl like that. I kind of like how it stops at the top right there. There is always a room for that to become an issue, but I think this, this might be cool. I like this design. Doesn't really matter for entrance and exit because it's going to be the only one on this path. Uh, let's do testing. connects up.
pretty good stats. Like, not great or anything. It's really fun to me how slow it gets at the top there. I don't think that's necessarily a good thing, but it's fun. We got the best thing you can possibly get while it's raining, which is fun, being a sunglass doll. No, that's not actually true. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Let's place a sunglass doll in. There we go. I have a concept. I think I might run it. First off, let's do some more handymen. Another mechanic. Another entertainer. Because there is a lot of disgustingness on these waterways. But I also don't know how to place them such that they're going to be able to sweep it all up rather than have it die. Uh, why did why did the guest rating just completely tank? Uh, I'm going to pause the game quickly because i got to figure that out. I messed something up. That's the, This is the exact type of thing that can make me not win this mode. People thinking it's too crowded here. There's a lot. People want to go home. Uh, let's look at the rides that I built. In terms of age. And try and figure out if there's any issues with the pathing with them. That one looks good. The hyper coaster. I think that's good. The twist four. It's got an exit path and an entrance path. Pirate ship two. Looks good. Uh, let's exit out of these. It really just dipped hard. And that's a win con for what I need here. I don't know if you could see it. I think my face cam was in the way. Uh, I needed to be above 600. So I still got time to not worry about this right now. The guests are both hungry and not hungry. All right. Circus 2. Looks like its exit is fine. Uh, mini helicopters, is that the issue? Doesn't seem like it. Twist 3. Looks fine. Top spin 3. Looks fine. Someone puked on the road, so... I think we're good with those. Uh, lot of people doing a lot of different things. It's too crowded here. Let's see where people are saying that. There. Main road. Hmm. Don't need to search for someone in particular. Okay. This is an interesting little map where I think it's showing a lot of the roadblocks. So... I think things that people are upset about is the state of the pass in the park, in which case we're just going to hire a lot more handymen. Uh, I'm going to resume it for a second. It is continuing to drop.
Uh, and also, thing I should probably be doing most of all, hiring more entertainers, because that's just going to make everyone more happy. And then finally, let's just build some more pathways. I've been focusing on rides, but that's not the issue right now. Just giving people a new way to walk might be very helpful. Alright, that's one new pathway. If we go back to the guess. These are the people, where are they thinking this thought? Lot in this area. So let's try and fix that a little bit. And I saw someone say the trash here is really bad. That's another issue where more handymen can help. Doesn't look like right here is all too crowded, but it must be. I keep looking at this before making any fixes. It's kind of just happening all over. I don't really have an easy way of fixing the entrance part of it. Alright, now most people are thinking paths is disgusting rather than crowdedness. Still gonna try and fix the crowdedness a little. And this is, I think, the way to do it. go. There's a little walkway for people. Now it's mainly people feeling sick. That's better. I can deal with people feeling sick. The crowdedness issue, yeah. Park rating went back up real quick right there. Weird. I don't know why that was the whole issue. Hmm. Alright. I still feel like trying to future-proof might be the plan, and I got a concept for that. Uh, let's build more pathways across this ocean. There we go. Let's just do it straight across. I think I can do that. Uh, I can't write at that moment, but it's close. That breaks the fence with pretty decent ease. It is snowing outside my window. Mid-April, both in the game. Hey, it's April 7th, both in the game and in real life for me. That was a fun little time to look at that. Should not be snowing in the game or here, but whatever. My concept right now, I think, is going to be making a spot for every stall here. It might not be on this pathway. What we're 
want to do is this. Oh, it is storming. All right. This might be a bad idea for the crowd in this issues, but whatever. I'm gonna do another save actually real quick. Yeah. Just cause we're in year four now. We're speeding towards a victory and I don't wanna lose it on something silly. Like placing one of every single food stall. And making a little ocean air food court. Once I do the first two rows, I'm going to oh, I think I just did yeah. Funnel cake. And then hot dog. And then ice cream cone. Alright, well I delete that. going to connect over here because honestly it should we've got over 3,000 guests so we've got a good amount if guess is not the issue it hasn't been for a while All right starting with pretzels on this side some sandwich pizza Popcorn. Seafood. Seafood on the water is a nice ideal. There's candy apple. There's coffee. Iced tea. Lemonade. Balloon stall. This balloon stall is not as fun as the other balloon stall, so I'm going to make its balloons black. One guy got in and got a different colored balloon, so good for him. Um, hat stall. Now I'm going to do it this way. We got a sunglass stall, and I can remember sunglass stall to continue off of. Souvenir. Um, t shirt. Info. First aid. ATM. ATM's great for that spot, obviously. And we're through both types of bathrooms, because why not? Right next to each other. This is not causing the crowdedness worry that I had, but it's a nice spot where you can get literally every type of stall. Which hopefully isn't a bad thing. I think it's going to be fine. I think it's good for now. I think it's good. Let me try and put a steeplechase in. Steeplechases are kind of awful, so it doesn't matter if it's bad to begin with. Nothing you can do with a steeple chase. Turn 
send that there. That doesn't work, so we'll do a hide up. That's, that's going fast enough there to do that. Try to do the height up again. Hopefully it can make this whole part. Oh, that's really slow. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. No, I, I think that might be an issue. What if instead of doing a left turn there, we do another, or instead of a right turn, we do a left turn there? And that doesn't fit. Steeple chases are dumb. I don't know why I'm focused on this so much. I don't know if I can save this the way that I'm hoping to. Okay. Uh, not great, but whatever. No one's going to be able to... Oh, I can't even do an entrance or an exit there. That's not going to work. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is this. Now we can go over, I think. Build that. Go down like that. Let's not do like that, actually, because if I go like this, this, soft, to entirely station platforms, I get a lot more station platforms, and station platforms are good. I'm getting theming and everything now in my research, but that's fine. We're almost done with this. This Forsaken Park. Uh, let's try some stuff. That doesn't work. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna switch up 
the entrance and the exit real quick. Also, while this is going on, I should actually test this roller coaster. That's going to be good. Yeah, may as well just connect it all the way. It can be in a different spot, that's fine. And that's connected. Hello, Maxis Martel. How are you doing today? Caught me near the end of this final um, scenario. It's good to see you as well. Wow, this is actually a not bad steeplechase. And that kind of bugs me. This should not be that good. Excitement rating for this should not be 5. That's way too high. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't crash or anything. This is crashing is still the thing that scares me the most right now. So all I have to do is get well, basically survive another few months and then I'll have one. What are guests thinking about right now? They're sick. They're not hungry. And the parts clean and tidy, that's really good. There's been some vandalism issues, that's not as fun. I don't want to get security guards. Do another handyman though. And I can do one more mechanic. I've got the money to spend. I'm really profitable in this park, much more than I thought I would be. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, good on you for asking. Um, I don't think uh, asking about a higher salary ever looks like a bad thing. It might sound... Also, first off, I got the best roller coasters in the country when I can't go above um, four blocks high. That's really happy. Uh, yeah, don't feel bad about asking for a better salary. You should always be asking because so many companies will not pay people what they're worth because they're simply realizing people are scared to ask. So by asking and trying to figure out how much your work can be paid for, you're doing a good thing. So good on you for doing that. Uh, if my motto with the whole situations of getting jobs and stuff like that has always been if you try... Um, money is very, very rarely a reason a company is going to make a decision about who to hire or not, because if someone is considered a better hire than someone else, they want them, and they're going to do efforts to try and get them into the company. So, being able to uh, use your own salary as a position of assistance trying to like game it so you can get more they they're in a position of willing it to pay it in most cases so good on you for asking it's a very stressful situation for that uh myself uh i finished up some stuff with my thesis that i was working on i've had a poster printed of it it's behind my back but it's rolled up in a tube so i can't show it off or anything but been stressing about that a lot recently, so that was a huge deadline to have hit. Feel a lot cool, cooler. That was probably the biggest thing I had left on my plate before graduation this spring, so excited for that stress to be mostly done. Still got stressed with actually defending my thesis and other aspects of it, but 
I'm happy the big stressor, the worst part of it is done. What? Okay. This limb launch coaster has an excitement rating of 5.27. This stupid steeplechase has an excitement rating of 5.14. I don't get this game. I m probably missed like a stat requirement or something with this one and hit them all for the steeplechase, but it should not be like that. No problem. Uh, thank you for just always tuning in to my streams. I really do appreciate that, and I feel like I just sometimes don't say that enough because your presence has been you know, one of my favorite parts about streaming on Twitch during the times that I've been doing it. So, thank you for that. Uh, I got a job uh, r pretty near to the city, but I have a month and a half before that job begins. So, probably streaming for that, but other than that, it'll be a nice uh, data modeling job that I'm excited to start. Thanks for asking. It's weird, I don't feel like an adult, but I'm going to start having to act like I'm an adult. And that's weird. I really don't know what else I'm doing in this park right now. I got other parts of it that... There's just so much that could be going on, that I could do extra. There's a lot of room that I never touched on with this park. I feel like this park had a lot more I could do, but honestly, I'm not upset about it at all. I passed this mission with flying colors, except for that one random spike late March where everyone hated the park for a second don't know what that was about. That was weird. Uh, let's just do some more entertainers, because why not? Yeah. At this point, I'm just kind of cool, relaxing, and seeing how the rest of this park operates. I wish I could do... Honestly, if I could put anything in right now, it would be an elevator. That's just really funny to me that you can do an elevator. I feel it. Uh, yeah. I, I see myself falling into a lot of habits that are always going to be like, well, I'm not going to feel totally like an adult right now. But I think that's a good thing. It, I'm not ready to be done being an adult, and I think... You never are. I can't say that with any degree of confidence. I'm still in my early 20s, but that's what I've been feeling. And I think that's a general belief among many around my age. It's good to just take some time and enjoy the young parts of life while I feel like I'm losing them. And while it's never going to be completely gone, I'm always going to be able to uh, just hang with friends or do whatever. That's a stupid little monorail design. Don't made that without even thinking, but you know what? It's a monorail. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. I'm not scared of getting old, but I'm not ready to uh, say I'm a feel like I've got my grown-up job, got everything understood, and I know where I am with every aspect of my life. And I don't think I ever will be. Thank you. Uh, what's really annoying about the elevator is I can place down the base of an elevator, but I can't open it like this. Because it needs, um, it needs another level. So you're not allowed to do an elevator like that. And I can't, I can't think, there might be a way of going underground and fixing it. But ultimately at that point, I don't think 
the elevators work. That I just want an elevator that's completely pointless. That's the dream. Uh, I never switched the monorail to actual testing. Let's see how it goes. Once I'm done with this scenario, I mean, I got the DLC scenarios to still play through, the ones that come with the game now. Monorail is perfect. People are going to love it. But, don't know what a... Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this monorail is the most useful monorail I've ever seen. Think about all of the great movements you get to see in great sights. I don't know... I'm hoping... I'm going to make it a goal for me to keep streaming even when I start my job. I might downgrade the amount of times I do it, but I don't know what that would be. My aim would probably be something towards like once a week. It would probably be later in the day than I have been because I'll be working during the main day, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Alright, is the monorail better or worse than this observation tower, which is double-decker so that people can get all of the sights that they can see when you're not allowed to build higher than tree level. Someone could just climb a tree and get all of the same sights, but this observation tower settles all of that for them. Hey, at least no one gets sick on this monorail. Whereas... They actually got good enough stats here, but people get sick. It's a real debate. Crooked house. Hey, if you don't have some crimes against humanity in your roller coaster tycoon park, are you even playing the right game? My argument is no. But I can see I can see people saying that. You need to actually do some logical maneuvers. This crooked house, like who even cares about a crooked house? What even really is a crooked house? Like, every other ride I think I have a general idea of where the fun is with it. I don't know what you do in a crooked house. You just go in and everything's a little wonky, it's like one of those houses that the fun of it is everything's upside down. Um, so it looks like, it feels like you're walking in a house upside down. Is that what it is? Why is that in a theme park if that's the case? I feel like those are standalone. There we go. That is the end. You can see people drop their balloons. There's not many balloons in this park because I made the one balloon spot way up here until the very end. But it's good to see. That scenario went way better than expected. Again, other than that one random dip in uh, park rating, everything went really well. I got up to 2,000 guests in my first two years and was being profitable during that. If I go to the economic stature, making so much money and I paid off all of my loan, it's good. This one went really well. Uh, as always, if anyone wants to uh, put something that relates to the park in the name of the scenario chart, I can put that in. Other than that, I ended this quicker than I was expecting to, and I would say uh, I would stream another one, but I do have to be out by uh, 4.15 or 4.30ish today for my time, though that's in about uh, a half hour to 45 minutes. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? I'm gonna put the name as War Criminal Benji. Just to make sure all my crimes against humanity are not forgotten to time. Yeah. Maybe, I, I think I'll start a mission but I'm not gonna be able to finish it regardless of what it is and I might only get like 20 minutes in because ending a little earlier won't be a bad thing in this park 
But I, I feel like I just started this stream and I'm having a good time. So, uh, let's do, we'll start off Victoria Falls, finish up the beginner parts of Wacky Worlds, uh, and I've got to quickly update my title. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much, but, uh, Victoria Falls, I believe this was. I have a bad setup on my stream where I can't, uh, I can't see that well. Both my screen of, hey, this is what's happening on my stream, which is on the monitor over here, and my game, which keep on the monitor here. I have it set up right now in a way that I have not been able to fix of trying uh, getting everything to work. What am I trying to say? I'm having a problem in getting it so both screens are always showing at the same time unless I do some awkward maneuvers. Let's start with research at maximum funding bring that up there and I don't need shops and stalls right yeah I got a lot of shops and stalls already alright there's an information kiosk and then let's build some simple rides to begin with uh, is it a pay for park or pay for almost didn't make this a $20 umbrella there we go I don't know if it's a pay per park or pay for entrance. Ooh, a diamond ride. I mean, it's just like a teacup ride, but it's something. Looks cool. And I probably can play some music because this silence is weird. I don't need scenery right now. And then we'll just go like that for that. We have a lot of room in this park. A lot of stuff we can do with. Alright, it is a pay to enter park. Hey, maybe I won't chop that many trees. Although, I'm going to chop one tree right now because I want to see if I get money for deforestation or lose money. I lose money. Yeah, then I'm definitely going to try and not chop too many trees. I do think the bigger issue... Wow, someone paid $10 to come into this place with a diamond ride, and that's it right now. That's really funny to me. All they want to do is come in for this ride. Uh, and then I gotta do some path setup. Malone's? This doesn't seem like that easy of a mission yet. Although it's a park value mission, which might not be, you know, the hardest. Okay, weird, I can't do... That's really weird, what's going on right there. We're gonna go like this. Why can't I do entrance and exit on that side? 